Hey guys, it's DK Spencer. Um, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to say a couple words about the video yesterday with Ballistic Joel. Um, so I want to I want to make sure that, and I put this in the in the description, but I just want to make sure that everybody gets that that was not a comparison between Canada Rye Balls and my wife's ammo that we shot him with the last time. Yes, he's saying that ammo hurt worse than this, but if you guys remember, it was shot from a more powerful launcher too. Uh, it's just that there were people in the comments that time saying if it had really been at that power level It would have done more damage Well this time we know this one was at this power level and we saw that that one did do more damage So basically the one thing that this video proves is that that video was legit the power that was reported was legit I didn't have because here's the thing for you guys that didn't don't know what I'm talking about my, my the ammo then was the ammo six mold that uh, my wife had made some ammo with well some people were like oh it would have done more damage it would have done more damage but i want to be scientific about it uh, so what i did was i went home and started doing you know where well, i was already home i started doing testing with her ammo and measuring it sizing it everything well what i found was that there were actually some that were considerably bigger and that they were coming out of the barrel very slow so i i went on and clarified that and said hey you know y'all might be right uh i found some you know i did a whole video about it and said hey you might be right i found that there's some of these that are sized wrong whatever da, da, da. so so this does prove that that video was definitely the right power level because if you look at it those did more damage than this and that was you know just a few more jewels but still so i'm i'm, I'm happy with that okay but the only comparison in this was the comparison of the damage with a coat and without a coat. Um, so, so definitely not comparing Canada Riot Balls to anything. Um, I love Canada Riot Balls. I think they are the most awesome thing out there. They, they're great. They, I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, seriously, they're awesome. Um, I would never... I would never attempt to be Mikey's competition or I would... And I would never try to make my wife's ammo that she's making as a hobby for fun that we just throw in with bills or whatever uh to look better than that because it's not i love my wife i like what she does i think she makes some pretty cool looking bullets but they're not canada right balls i'm not i'm not carrying them i mean i'm not packing them in anything that i carry and and i wouldn't expect anybody else to at this point we might get them a lot better or whatever but they're still never going to be on the market um it, it's just ammo molds. I mean, everybody can get them. Um, and a lot of people do them, you know. She's an artist, and she makes some pretty looking stuff, but it's nothing that's going to be ballistically, uh, you know, superior to Canada Riot Balls by any means. Um, so, and I'm not trying to get long-winded with this or anything, but, and I just want to say another thing is to, it's, all you guys that are saying really nice stuff and appreciative for this, I really thank you all. And it, it means a lot to me because I know it means a lot to him, and I think that that he's doing a very big, it's not a big deal to him. This guy apparently, you know, I mean, he, dude, he's tough as nails. He really is. It's not a big deal to him, but how many people are out there taking, you know, almost 30 joule and hits, you know? So, yeah, I know everybody wants to see 50 joules hit him. I want to see 50 joules hit him. He wants me to hit him with 50. I want to see what 35 40 45 does first because if i hit him with 40 and it penetrates an inch i'm gonna be glad i didn't jump straight to 50 and really do some serious damage because i'm he's my friend and i'm not going to i'm not going to hurt my friend and you know a way that's not you know i'm not going to do permanent damage to my friend when he's trying to help us learn you know i'm, I'm not going to do that so just so you guys know, Ballistic Joel would take a shot from 50 anytime. I do not want to jump straight to 50 because A, I think it's safer to see what in five increments do, you know? And B, don't you guys want to see at what level, it, you know? I mean, if we jump straight to 50, heck, I'm pretty positive that's going to do the job. Uh, but don't you want to see, you know, exactly what? what it's gonna take i mean I, I think it's more scientific to you know 
every week or two hit him with five more jewels and you know whatever granted it's gonna take a little time and i can't hit him right back to back because oh that just it hurts me to do it to start with honestly uh he he's tough but uh but anyway, I just I just wanted to, to clarify the, the two things that it, it is not that he won't take fifty, and it's not that we're not going to do fifty. It's just that for the safe for the safety sake and for the scientific sake of it, I think it's better to do it the way we're doing it. Um, again, appreciate all the kind words, and I, those of you that that realize, like you know. I think it's pretty cool of him. I honestly do. I think it's very, very cool of him. And uh, I, I appreciate the ones of you that uh, acknowledge that. Um, that that means a lot to me because I show him, I show him the comments and stuff, and, and I know that that makes him feel good. And he's a he's a he's a great guy. He really is. he's he's one of the best people I've ever met. So uh, and another reason that I would not want to actually hurt hurt him. Uh, so. I have a heart. It's black and it's small, but I do have one. <laughs> All right. Love you guys.